Okay, guys, we have taken this uh, blank out of the fire. It's softer now. Uh, there's a couple things that I had to fabricate so I could uh, maybe get a little better job. A was this, and it's just two pieces of metal that I've cut off even and that uh, put a holes in. And basically, what it's going to do is going to give me a, a, a straight spot right here to grind against or to, to use as a guide. Another thing that I had to fabricate was um, a way to keep my my bevel nice and even and ultimately what I did was uh, fabricate this which is just a uh, three quarter inch pipe that I uh, put a hole in the top up here and I drilled to this 2 by 6 which has been sturdy st made sturdy by this little piece of 1 by now I've got it raised up a little bit high but gradually I'm gonna come down on my grade and I'm gonna do that one inch at a time and I've got it set up on these one bys here so ultimately when I'm done I'm hopefully ha hopefully I'll have a a nice smooth uh, 30 to a 33 degree bevel on my Scandi grind <laughs> I'm seeing here is my grind slowing slowly going back um, I don't know the only thing I can figure this little variation right here is the way my uh, my guide is set up on my jig but uh, having a hard time getting that divot out but looking pretty good it's coming along that's about two hours of filing on one side looks like it's gonna be end up being about two and a half hours on each side Okay, maybe a little better lighting on my jig today. Um, as you can see, I've come down uh, two one buys. I had them stacked up three high, and it's gradually putting a, a farther grind on my blade. Really, very, very thick, thick blade. So I'm running the grind up a little uh, higher. Per advice from Is Turley. Okay, one thing that I did leave out before I heat treated my knife on the forge was the process that I did with the canola oil before I uh, oil quenched it. Uh, I did put it the canola oil inside this uh, this little bread pan, and I brought up the uh, uh, the temperature of the oil to about 150 to 165 degrees before I quenched it. Once once my uh, blade got uh, hot enough that it would not let a magnet stick to it. I come in here and I've got I got the oil went outside, quenched it. So ballpark figure on the uh, uh, the canola oil at quench time was probably 150 degrees, give or take 10 degrees. There was no flame. Dropped it straight in and I left it there. Now uh, my next step is that I'm going to uh, actually temper the steel. So I'm going to take it out of here, wipe it off real good, bring my uh, my oven up to about 375. I'm going to let it set in my oven for a full hour, take it out, and then probably do it again, put it in for another full hour. By this afternoon, I'm hoping to get uh, some handles on it so I can sand them down tomorrow. Who are you? What might I be? To be a going on.
Okay guys, here it is. Um, the somewhat finished product of this knife. I'm sure that I'll do a little more sanding on it. Maybe on the handles. Um, maybe put a little linseed oil on the handles. But other than that, it's, it's pretty much done. Uh, the dimensions on this knife, four and a half inch blade, four and three, three eighths uh, handle, three eighths inch thickness on the blade. Um, the only thing that I would really change on this, if I had to cut the form out again, I'd give me a little more length on the handle, maybe three quarters of an inch to an inch longer. Um, the the bummer part about this is I won't I won't be field testing this knife. This knife is a gift for somebody else. He's just an old hunter, and uh, it, this may skin a few deer. Uh, may even skin a, skin a bear or two. You never can tell with this guy. Uh, let me walk you through the process on this knife. I got this knife as a big saw blade from a friend of mine in Eastern Kentucky who this knife is going to. And uh, I cut the form out with a plasma cutter, ground off the rough edges, and then uh, I found out when I started filing on it that it was too hard to really make any progress quick. So I set it into a fire. I let it set. I got the fire up pretty hot. Let it set overnight and then started filing. I got about five and a half hours on this bevel. Had to make a jig. Had to make a, a, a little... Uh, uh, guide for this thing to sit in and uh, did my filing. I filed, filed, and filed. Once I got it filed, I had to build a forge. I built a forge and then heat treated this. I got it up hot enough that a magnet would not stick it, stick to it. And uh, I quenched it in canola oil that I had heat preheated up to about 150 to 165 degrees and then I just dropped it in there. Once I dropped it in there, I uh, I uh, put it in the oven and let it set for two hours the first time at 375, took it out, let it get to room temperature, and then I set it back in the oven at 375 for another hour. Um, pull it out, put these white oak handles on it, and spent a couple hours sanding them down. I am not a knife maker. This is my first knife. Uh, I walked through this process. I, I did some research on my own, but I also did consult a professional knife maker the best that I know at this time and his name is, is Turley check his, check his uh, website out Turley Knives but anyway there it is I'm thinking about calling this the Black Bear I'm Billy Poe that's my first knife thanks for watching um, I'll catch you on the next one